Hey guys, how's it going this evening? So in tonight's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about guiding, auto guiding. How it's done, how to calibrate properly so that you'll get solid guiding results. Some of the things to look out for and watch out for when you're trying to guide, set up your telescope for auto guiding. So let's go ahead and take a closer look on how to do that. Okay, so we are going to start this from scratch. And the Deep first thing you're going event. <laughs> the first thing you're going to do is go into guide under the guide tab here and go to connect equipment. Now, this is a new profile I'm doing. So I have the Max Top Newtonian and I'll be auto guiding with a guide scope. So I need to do the new uh, using wizard option. Okay? Go to the drop down and you pick your guide camera. This mine's a Zen WO and it's connected so it'll automatically detect its pixel size, all that stuff. Then you have to put in the focal length of your guide scope. My guide scope it's 240 millimeter, so you gotta enter that in, go to next. Then you gotta drop down to the appropriate mount option. For me, it's the EQ Mod ASCOM HEQ5/6. It's connected, so I hit yes. Now, this mount guide speed, for my situation, I don't leave it at 0.2. I do 0.9. That seems to work better for me. Hit next. If you have high precision encoders, you would check that box. But if not, just hit next. Hit proceed. If you have adaptive optics, you'd put that in there. I don't, so I hit next. Profile name. I'm going to call this um, MacNoot with... MacNute uh, 1600 GT and you got to build a dark library make sure that's checked so what you're gonna have to do is put on the scope cover so it can build a dark library okay so I've put in my put on my scope cover I'm gonna hit next or finish <clears throat> and it's gonna build a dark library this will take about five ten minutes so I'm gonna go take a quick break and I'll be right back Okay, so now we've got our dark library built. We can now begin calibration. Now, typically what PhD recommends is that you go to a star that is along the celestial meridian, um, or at least close to it, zero degrees, either plus 10 degrees or minus 10 degrees from that. And uh, a best, a good way to do that is using like a, an app like Skyview Pro or Skyview or Stellarium. Find a star that's going to be along the meridian and do that. For this demonstration, I'm already pointed at Vega, and it's not too far off. It's probably a little farther off than I should go, but we're just going to go ahead and do this demonstration on Vega or in that vicinity. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do is click. Finished. <laughs> first thing you want to do is click on this brain. And for me, if you have an EQ6R Pro, this is something I had to change. This calibration step needs to go from 800 to, I did like 2000. So let's put in 2000, hit OK. OK, so we're looping some exposures. We're going to pick, we can auto select tools, auto select. Now we're going to start the calibration. And what you do is you hit, you go down to this PhD button here and you hold down shift, left click, and that begins calibration. This process will take about five minutes or so. And when it's done, that yellow line will turn solid green and you'll be calibrated and ready for guiding. And that's really all there is to it. Something I didn't mention last night when I was talking about setting up PHD2 for calibration, another thing you may have to troubleshoot or you may be struggling with is 
getting some doing a calibration and it runs through does the process and it still says something like you know it can't make uh, corrections in right ascension or proper corrections in declination or they may be questionable and in those situations what I recommend you doing is check the balance of your mount again and if uh, if your mount is balanced too is too balanced you can overbalance your mount by that I mean if there's no give on one side a little bit more than the other then you're not balanced properly you want the mount to be slight just slightly just a little bit heavier on one side than the other I typically do the east side and I do the same thing in declination just slightly heavier than the other um, and what I mean slightly it's just a, a, a real slow pull down into the direction that's the top heavy side and that is very important and I used to struggle tremendously with getting a good calibration of PhD 2 and until I figured out that was the reason why I couldn't I couldn't work it out it was just one of those things that just kept plaguing my sessions and hurting my guiding performance so if you're getting those kind of errors or you're not getting great guiding check that that could be another point or an area that needs to be adjusted so you can get a solid calibration for your auto guiding well guys that concludes our video tutorial on how to set up auto guiding with PhD 2 if you felt like you got something out of the video enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that will be covering tutorials gear and imaging sessions also if you have any questions about astrophotography in general or have some suggestions on other content that you'd like to see on this channel please put it in the comment section below also if you're interested in any of the gear that I use for astrophotography I put some links down in the description below to telescopes mounts accessories you name it to help you get started on the right foot and as always thanks for watching and until next time clear skies